Within a few weeks, the country's largest mainland immigration detention centre will open near Darwin. The federal government is hoping its facilities and activities will reduce riots and incidents of self-harm. But although the centre is state-of-the-art, the government hasn't come up with any new ways to manage the asylum seekers who are sent there. Australia's biggest mainland immigration detention centre is almost complete. At Wickham Point, 35 kilometres from Darwin, the federal government's hoping it will ease overcrowding in other centres. What you're looking at here is a purpose-built design facility to cater for up to 1,500 single adult men. Taxpayers will pay $200 million for leasing and maintenance for three years, hundreds of millions more for Serco to run it. Rooms have the amenities of a budget hotel or modern prison. It has a gym, library and computer room. The federal government is hoping giving detainees activities, including haircutting, will reduce the stress of their indefinite detention. Self-harm has been a problem across the detention network and, and it's something that we are very concerned about. In all centres, the government tries to keep asylum seekers busy doing activities like sports or planting vegetables by offering them tradable points. Even though many long-term detainees withdraw anyway, it will use the same system here. These points can be traded for discretionary items. The perimeter fence can be electrified if rioting breaks out. Circo hasn't employed enough staff to stop disturbances and self-harming at other centres. It will still be up to the company how many are employed at Wickham Point. We require them to have an appropriate number of staff on site to manage the clients. The centre's clinic has two resuscitation beds, but it will only open from Monday to Friday, and all seriously injured asylum seekers will still have to go to hospital. Asylum seekers will begin arriving here within a few weeks. No one knows how long they'll have to stay here. Jane Barden, ABC News.